Tapping the settings menu will open up the menu which allows us to change settings related to the display, mapping, guidance and steering, safety and alarms, application control, ISO bus and simulation modes. In display setup, under display options, you can choose to hide the navigation bar. This is the native Android settings and the emergency stop and camera button. With this option enabled, you will see the navigation bar at the bottom of the display hide. To access this navigation bar, simply slide from the bottom up with your finger. Enable simple mode simply reduces the amount of information visible on the front home page and individual tiles. Auto launch Precision IQ when display boots will automatically load the Precision IQ application when the display is powered on either via ignition or the power button on the rear of the display. Show extra firmware should only be enabled if instructed via support. The run screen map zoom option will determine whether the zoom level is retained when switching between the large full screen or the small screen guidance view. Display units allows you to change the display from imperial to metric. Turning on the external camera option displays the camera image on the main run screen. The expansion port on the back of the display can be used for external cameras, remote locking or a radar output. Unfortunately, we can only use two of these functions at any one time. Given this, depending on what is connected to the display, we will need to configure the digital in-out port. To do this, we access the digital I.O. port setup. The reset help dialogues will re-enable any dialog boxes that appear that operators have selected do not show again previously. In the mapping options, the customer has the ability to change the background colour of the guidance map. He also has the ability to change between day and night mode. The remainder of the settings in this page we will cover as we talk about specific functions within Precision IQ.